Welcome back, guys. We're still here at the very beginning of our adventures in New Vegas. And before I go out here and try to take on the wasteland, I think it's a good idea to finish learning how to take care of ourselves. Luckily for us, Sunny Smiles is willing to help with that if I bring her a Brock flower and a Xandar root. So that should be pretty easy. They're both really close by. One is going to be at the Good Spring Cemetery and the other is at the schoolhouse. So I guess we'll go to the schoolhouse first because it's a little bit closer. I do remember Easy Pete warning us that uh, sometimes critters like to live there. So we're probably going to have to clear out the place of, I don't know, some more geckos or something. I at least think it's definitely not going to be anything worse than the geckos. Because, I mean, it's still Startersville, guys. I, I don't think anything horrible can happen to us this early on. At least I sincerely hope not. I mean, it probably could if I, like, went crazy and ran off into the distance and tried to start some trouble with some big baddies. But I don't think the little schoolhouse is going to give us any problems. So that there is probably the schoolhouse. I do see that there is a hostel near it already. But I want to know what this is first. It's a little shack. It is Victor's shack. He has a shack of his own. He's like a full-blown resident of the town. Well, that's awfully nice. I do like the lights and the flag. Can I go in here? It's not locked or anything. Maybe he won't mind if I have a little look around. There's a bed that I can actually use. I mean, I guess he's not going to use it. And this isn't marked as theft. Does that mean I can take these? Energy cells, I will use them. And a weapon repair kit. Uh, wow. And nothing is stealing, so I, I guess he's a really hospitable guy. Oh, and we can use the sink. Well, that's good. Let's take a look over here at our water. And let's see how much this actually gives us. So I can know for future reference. Wow, that was that was good. I might be hanging out at Victor's house from now on. Pretty cool. And energy cells and a stealth boy. Nice. Very cool. Thank you, Victor. Wow, okay, great. Wasn't stealing. I guess he just loved us so much since... Uh, saving us that he's willing to share his house and home with us. Thank you, Victor. Thank you. Can you call me partner? Howdy, partner. Yay, that's what I wanted. Okay, bye. Happy trails. You too. Are you going home? Are you um, rolling home after a hard day of wheeling and dealing? You just need to relax and recharge. Huh? Huh? Do you like my robot jokes? I hope they're not offensive to you, Mr. Robot. So you're not going to go inside? I mean, actually looking at you now, I don't think you could go inside. So maybe that's why. Wait, wait, wait. What are y'all doing? What are you guys doing? I'm just trying to hang out with Victor. I wasn't ready to deal with you. So it looks like we've got mantises. I'm assuming these are, yeah, these are the things from the schoolhouse. Because if they were not the things from the schoolhouse, then there would still be red over there. So... I just attracted too much attention by fussing over Victor, and that's... Whoa! And that's okay. Well, I don't really want to loot this one. Is he going to explode? Or was that a delayed combat explosion? No, that's a you looted me explosion. Okay. I don't really know what to say about that. That was unsettling. All right, you know, that's fine. We're just gonna, we're just gonna ignore it. We found our Xandar roots and that's great. Can we go in the schoolhouse? I would kind of like to go in there, but I think first I want to look around outside, make sure there's not any more useful plants in the vicinity. I don't see any more Xandar roots, but there's a jalapeno pepper. We got two jalapeno peppers, actually. I wonder what kind of cool recipes we can use them for. Or maybe we can just eat them on their own. Do they have, like, any cool status effect or anything? Maybe? They 
Um, H2O plus 8, that doesn't make any sense. It's a spicy pepper. Why? It should make you want water, not give you water. Food, minus 17. That seems just kind of backwards. But we get a little bit of health. Okay, I'm sure it would be better used in a recipe than, um, you know, on its own. I don't think we're going to need any stem packs right away, but I figured while we were on the aid menu, it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and make myself a panic button. Not that these mantises are anything to panic about. I say that and then this one's going to just slap me. I mean, these could probably mess you up, you know, if there was actually a mantis this big. I mean, it could cut you. They have little hands, like little scythes. Look how pretty the wings are. Oh, you look like a supermodel. Very cool. All right, one left. I think. I think it's just the one left. Anyone else? Anything? No, I don't see any other ones in here. I do see a computer over there, and that is quite interesting. Their little wings are so pretty, though. Please don't do that. I could do without it. Not a fan. I'm gonna quit complaining, but after these. Boo. And you? Thanks, I hate it. Alright, now I'm done complaining. What is that? A mantis Utheka. What is that? Is that like a cocoon for mantises? Because I am not an entomologist. I don't know a lot about mantises. So, there you go. Got a salesman book. Very nice. I noticed something about these books, though, okay? Uh, look. It says it gives you plus 10 skill. There's no way that's going to be a permanent bonus. That is too much. That is too many points. So, is this a buff? Like a temporary buff? I'm assuming that's the case. Because, yeah, no. No way. Wow, that's loud. That's just some loud boards. So I can look in the school desks, but they're all empty. What's the point of that then? Okay, lockers, anything good? Bottle caps, I will always take them. Nothing, okay, great. You guys, nothing, okay, cool. Another Utheka, and that one has eggs in it. So I guess it's like their nest. Wait, so this one had eggs in it and it doesn't have any cracks. And the other one, I know this is pointless info, but the other one has cracks in it. So can you tell if they're worthless or not based on their outward appearance? That would be a little bit interesting. And I didn't forget about the computer, don't worry. I just wanted to look at everything else uh, first. Just, you know, real quick. Cherry bomb, I will take it. Toy car, yes please. A Braxo can be sold. It also might be useful at some point, but uh, I think I'll just sell it at the beginning. New Coca-Cola truck. And I think that's it for that room. So there is a safe next to this computer here, but there's no way we're going to be able to get that open. Um, because we have absolutely horrible lockpick skill. But since there's a computer, maybe we can use the terminal to get into it. And there's a tooltip. So I guess I will read this to you because I just, I know how much it means to you and how upset you would be. It would just break your little heart if I didn't read you absolutely everything, right? No sarcasm at all, so here we go. <laughs> Some terminals are protected and can't be accessed without a password. If your science skill is high enough, you can attempt to hack the terminal. Selecting the correct password will grant you access. If your guess is incorrect, you will be shown how many letters match the correct password and in the correct location. You have four tries to guess correctly. If you fail, the terminal will remain inaccessible until you own the password. You can exit hacking at any time and try again. However, exiting the terminal will force its security to reset, delaying your ability to start the hacking again. The more you know, guys. How very exciting to know how the terminals work. And uh, just for future reference, I know it's not very interesting to watch me play Word of the Day 
on the computer. So I typically will edit this out. But uh, since this is our very first, um, you know, thing, maybe I will just let you watch all of it, you know, because it's a bonding experience. Don't you think so? Don't you think that, um, you feel closer to me, seeing me do this. You know, is it reminding you of all the times you failed at picking the right word? Okay, so this is another thing. I learned this from you. If you see something that has these brackets, like this is not explained in the tooltip, and I would not have noticed it unless it was pointed out to me, so thank you very much. Um, if you use brackets, it will either reset one of our attempts or it will remove a dud. And it removed a dud. It looked like it removed this. Which I think was one of the ones I picked. So I don't think we're going to be able to find another thing to reset an attempt for us. So I guess I will just have to go out and back in. Oh no, here's another one. This will remove something, maybe. No, it just removed another dud. Well, I wanted a, a reset, but you know, I guess we can't have one. So... Back in we go, and the security system is doing a reset, so we're going to have to wait just a minute. But you know, like I said, bonding experience. Guys, I feel closer to you already. How nice. So let's see. It's not poisons. Of course it's not. Um, which letter was correct in that? Probably it's not this one, because that has the O and S again. This one just has the N. Hey, there we go. It was the N after all. <laughs> Good. That was just pure luck. It's because we have a high luck score, right? Aren't we a 21 leaf clover or something? Let's disengage that lock and see what we have. Two beers, 19 bottle caps, men tats, pre-war money, a stealth boy, and a super stemmy pack, and a bottle of wine. Not bad for a little starter safe definitely useful i don't know if i will keep all that stuff we're already close dangerously close to being over encumbered so i'm gonna have to get rid of some things pretty soon but there's that general store right there that we can go to so i'm sure we won't have any problems but first we have to find the other thing for sunny she wants a flower of course she does. She's a woman. And women, they love flowers, don't you know? I don't know why I took the cups. I should have left the cups alone. That was Doc Mitchell's mailbox too. Whoopsie. I hope he wasn't expecting his order of cups to arrive today. And also, guys, you know, okay, this is fine. I am a courier, right? I work for the Mojave Express, so I'm allowed to... Look in the mailboxes, all right? This is not a federal crime if you're authorized to do it. So, you know, I just wanted you to know that I have the authority to look in the mailboxes in case you were really upset about it. You can calm down now. It's all okay. I'm a professional. I'm a mailbox professional. I see something up there. It looks like a scorpion. That might be pretty troublesome to deal with. So hopefully we can get the drop on him and maybe drop him before he gets to us. I think we can. And we can. Very good. Very nice. That is one dead Scorpo. And this is one very long cam. But that's okay. <laughs> Okay, it's a bark scorpion, and it has a bark scorpion poison gland. Okay, so when I pick this up, is he going to pop open or something? I don't know. I just don't trust it anymore. Okay, I'm ready. And nothing. All right, good. Very nice. Let us go to the cemetery. 
I don't know if there's going to be any more hostels up there. I, I certainly don't see anything, but that doesn't mean there won't be. Okay, there's one. Is it more scorpions? Is it more scorpions? We just missed one bullet, but I figured I'd go ahead and reload. It's butt flies. I know, they're bloat flies, but have you noticed how they spit at you with their butt? So, you know, butt fly. Oh, and I missed. And I'm detected by... Who? Seriously, what's detecting me? Is it that? Is it the one I shot? Because it's just floating there. It doesn't act like it really knows what's going on. Uh-oh. That one just took a bullet for his friend. That's... That's really nice. I didn't know flies could care that much about friendship. Where are you going? Ooh, that was a, a zoom zoom. That was a really zoomy camera. Pretty neat. And just, just the two more. Alright, you can stop floating like a butterfly and stinging like a bee because this whole serpentine thing you're doing like come on I can sometimes hit things but I'm I'm not a master sniper at this all right if you're gonna make it hard to hit you then honestly the odds are I'm not gonna hit you where'd he go did he die I didn't notice that he died but maybe he did okay Good. And they have bloat fly meat. I guess I can cook that up. What is this? A good spring snow globe. Whoa, danger? Oh, it's you. I knew you didn't die. There we go. Wow, have you ever really looked at their mouths? Like, have you ever taken a solid look at a bloat fly's mouth? It's really gross. I'm just saying. Oh, blood. My blood. Okay, so yeah, Good Spring Snow Globe. I kind of want it, but is this grave robbing? It used to belong to... Whiskey... This is hard to read. Whiskey, snakes... That's an N, right? Or an H? Shakes? Whiskey Shakes Jr.? Is it Whiskey Snakes or Whiskey Shakes? Either way, that's a very terrible name. And I'm sorry I'm going to desecrate your grave by taking this, but it looks pretty unique, so I want it. And apparently, grave robbing is the correct thing to do, because this is a limited edition Mojave Landmark Snow Globe. Okay, so are these going to be like the bobbleheads? Uh, these are pre-war artifacts that are widely considered to be useless baubles. But rumor has it some collectors will pay dearly for them. Okay, so we can make a little bit of bank on these? Is that what that's saying? That would be pretty cool, but um, I don't know. Maybe I'll want to collect them for myself. So this is our grave, right? And that's, I think that's the plant we need. But look, this is our grave. This is where it all began, pretty much. I seem to remember there being more trees around here from the cutscene, but I guess it could have been this one. I don't know. I don't remember where I was laying in relation to this, but I, I feel like there should have been a tree like right here. I don't know. Anyway, this is the rock flower, and there are two of them. So that's good, and we're done with that. We can now go back to Sunny Smiles. This view, though, look. Isn't that nice? We can see the strip over there. That is the Vegas Strip, isn't it? I think it is. It definitely is. Look at that. I mean, you can tell from the, the tower, but... Um, yeah, wow. There's a bunch of scorpions down there. I don't... Oh, that's a lot of them. And there's a dead thing. There's a dead guy. I kind of want to loot it, but... I don't know. There's a lot of them. I... I'm sorry, guys. I'm a wimp. Okay, I don't have very high, uh... You know, estimations on our ability to deal with, like, nine scorpions. What are these? Oh, whoa! You can actually loot the grave? I was trying to look at the plants on the grave, which I'm not going to take because I already took a snow globe. But look, you can actually loot the, the graves. Well, that's a good way to get absolutely haunted. See, look, do you hear that? I doubt that's just the wind. That's probably something 
something out there. It's the ghost of Whiskey Shakes Jr. <laughs> he's, uh, he's gonna haunt us because we took his snow globe. Uh-oh. Danger, danger. So, yeah, I, uh, I could fast travel closer to her, I think. Yeah. She's down there at the water source again, I guess. I kind of expect her to go back to the tavern, but I don't know. I guess not. And that's fine, too. Who am I to tell Sunny where she can and cannot be? Uh, walking around is nice, though. You know? I mean, okay, I know it's not always going to be super interesting, but I do try to walk around a lot in these games because... I like to find the random encounters, and I just like to look at the landscapes, honestly. So, um, if we're ever going on a very particularly boring walk, you can count on me to... What is this? Buffalo gourd. Oh, cool. Neat. We got another buffalo gourd seed. But yeah, you can count on me to um, alleviate most of your suffering by cutting out the very boring walks. Because, you know, your time is important to me. So we're going to spend it only doing the most exciting of things. And it looks like it's getting dark out here. Um, what time is it, actually? It's 627. Okay. So I guess we better hurry up and do what we're doing before it gets dark out here. Because I don't know what nighttime in the desert is like. But I don't really want to experience it right now. So... We'll just hurry on up. Oh, yeah. I'll take both of those. Oops. We're over encumbered. Uh-oh. Whoopsie dipsie. How over encumbered are we, actually? Not too much. Uh, I guess I could eat something or drop something. How much food do I need? Riveting. This is just so exciting. 83. I need 83 food. I can eat the... Uh, I guess I can eat the pork and beans. Is that good enough? And I, I'm, I should be good on water. Well, I could still use 52. So what about that dirty water that we had? Um, I guess. I mean, come on. I need to be able to move. So that'll be all right for right now. And here is Sunny. Hello, sweetie. I brought you the, th the, 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 the stuff. Let me see what you got. Okay. Yeah, these will do just fine. Okay. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Healing powder. That sounds good. Sounds useful. Anyway. Oh, look, and I can make the gecko we found earlier into gecko steaks. But let's just make this first. And we'll make both. Hey, that's not bad, see? Yeah. All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Okay. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. Thank you, Sunny. I'm back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. <laughs> you hey, didn't. do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Well, that's nice. How sweet. I want to meet the town mom. Um, but yeah, she didn't miss anything good on the radio. Don't worry. So now we have gecko steaks. And what's my encumbrance like? It's still the same. So nothing changed weight from being cooked or combined. That's interesting to know. But yeah, that thing she was saying about the jukebox. Okay, so you've probably already noticed this because we've been into the saloon once um but here's the deal that music on the radio i love it all right i do i love it a lot but it is extremely copyrighted and i'm just a poor little innocent girl who can do nothing about that so i apologize to you but now we just get radio silence we can still listen to um the talk show host though so that's something. In the Mojave wasteland. Yay! Hi, Mr. New Vegas, and I'm here for you. Hi, Mr. New Vegas. I've got news for you. Tensions are brewing in Free 
countryside between the ruling gang known as the Kings and the large number of NCR squatters seeking refuge there. The leader of the Kings, who would only identify himself as the King, voiced his displeasure calling NCR citizens, quote, the devil in disguise. Okay, it's a little harsh. didn't want to see the NCR in the ghetto and call for a mass, quote, return to sender. <laughs> we'll have more news for you at the top of the hour. Thank you. Song for you now is about a guy who's cold on the exterior, but oh. deep down, you know, he's a good man. And All his right. name is Johnny Guitar. I would love to listen to Johnny Guitar, but it's just not going to be happening. So I do appreciate that the king is a big Elvis reference. That's hilarious. Are we actually going to meet like an Elvis impersonator? Because that would just be super rad. I'm still thinking about those scorpions over there. I'm wondering if I could take them, but I, I just, I don't know. We should go at least say hi to town mom first. Hey, I cleared out the schoolhouse. Are you proud of me? Hey. Howdy. Howdy. I cleared it out. I did so good. Yep. Ah, he approves. Very nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, great. So where's Trudy gonna be at over here? I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends, and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not gonna buy something, get out. Yeah, get out. Wait, can I talk to you? Okay, apparently not. Uh, he seemed kind of like. Bad news? I mean, he did threaten to burn the town down over Ringo or something. Hi, Trudy. You're the town mom, right? You want to tell me what that guy's problem was? Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Thank you very much. Um, I overheard that argument, though. What was that about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where is he now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Okay, why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? So is Cobb the guy threatening to burn the town down? Because honestly, if... Someone's threatening to burn down your whole town. You probably should just kill them and get done with it. You mean murder him? That's not our way. Even if Cobb is scum, he can bluster and threaten all he wants. Well, that's kind of lame, don't you think so? What are you going to do then? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. The powder gangers? Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. That's a horrible idea. It was a idea. big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Why would they do that? Okay, well, never mind. Let's talk about something else. All right. Um. Yeah, who was the guy you were arguing with? He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. So they're basically just raiders? They're just convicts who escaped and made their own little crew? Okay. Um, lots of stuff we can talk about. Let's go ahead and talk about Ringo some more since we're on this topic. What happens if I help him? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Really? Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Well, their friends are probably convicts, too. So it's not like I really care about them and their opinion. So I help Ringo and Good Springs will like me more. But what happens if I help the powder gangers? I'm not going to do that, but let's go ahead and ask. Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yeah, me either. Yep, you'd get on their good side. But people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Okay. I'm trying to track down those people who attacked me. Do you know anything about them? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Okay. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Can I fix it? Um, where did they say they were going, though? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. 
If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Is it dangerous? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. Okay, so that's a really bad place to go. Where were they headed? Probably to the Strip, right? To Vegas? I mean, just a hunch. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the Strip. Ooh, I know. Fella wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Okay. Um, do you want me to try to fix the broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. He does, doesn't he? I love him. Okay, um, can you please tell me about Victor? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. Uh, you don't like him? It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. Really? Because I think it's the best. I think it's just so good. <laughs> I really like it. What does he do around here, though? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. Oh, that makes me feel special. I like him even more now. How long has he been around? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Interesting. Let's talk about something else. Fine by me. I'm actually really curious about about Victor. Like, he's a police robot, but he's acting like a cowboy instead of a policeman. And, yeah, who did he used to belong to and why did he help me? So many good questions that maybe we can answer. But first... Tell me about the visitors that Good Springs gets. Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Okay, so Prim is to the south and the Strip is to the north. We are learning. Anything interesting going on in the rest of the wasteland? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Oh, right. Right. Tell me about the NCR. The New California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. Are they? Well, um... What about the Legion, then? Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. Well, that's creepy. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. Okay, in the opening sequence, I thought they looked like hockey players or football players. They don't really look like Roman soldiers to me. So if they were going for a Roman aesthetic, it was completely lost on my brain because I was like, oh, look, a hockey team. <laughs> The uh, New Vegas Bulls or whatever. <laughs> That's what they looked like to me. But uh, why do you think they want the dam? I mean, I'm assuming it's because of the water. And I don't know if it's a hydroelectric dam or anything, but it seems like a good landmark to control. But let's ask her about it anyway. I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. Okay, so the it Legion is hydroelectric. Are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. Well, why would they do that? What possible reason would they have just to blow it up? Um, can you please show me what you've got for sale, Trudy? I'm sure I've got something you like. I hope you will. Banana yucca fruit, beer, dirty water, fixing things. Yeah, that's got to be a temporary bonus. I'm just. Yeah, it, it, for sure. It is. I definitely think so. Iguana on a stick. Meeting people. That might be pretty useful, but I'm not rich, so I'm not going to buy it at the moment. Pinion nuts. Uh, purified water. Scotch, squirrel, blah, blah, blah. Lots of food and water. I will come back if I need any of that, but at the moment, I'm kind of broke and I'm kind of good. Thank you, Trudy. Be careful out there. Thanks, sweetie. You too. So... 
Is that her broken radio? Can I, uh, can I fix it? An examination of the radio's internal components reveals that several parts are connected. Um, popped loose when the radio hit the floor. It should be fairly simple to repair and get working again. Well, then let's fix it. Easy peasy. It's all better. Hey, it's all better. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. I, I fixed the, um, the radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Thank you. Ooh. Are you implying that I've done shoddy work? Oh. Not at all. I'm never sure how much is normally charged for this sort of thing. Here's some additional caps. That should be enough. Thank you, now, Trudy. how about spending some of those caps in the saloon? I definitely will when I get hungry or thirsty. Thank you so be much. Be careful out there. You too. Be careful in here. Hi, settler. Hey there. Oh, we leveled. Level two. That is some funky level up music. I like it. Okay. So I think I want speech. I think I do want speech. Maybe some science. Maybe some repair. And um, medicine, maybe? No. Sneak. If we run into bad things, I don't want them to see me. So I guess this will be pretty good. And let's continue and see what kind of perks we can get. So we can do Black Widow, which in combat allows us to do 10% more damage against male opponents. And outside of combat, we'll sometimes have access to a unique dialogue option when dealing with men. That's pretty good. Uh, Cherchez La Femme. I am sorry that I am not French. Uh, that's the best you're going to get out of me. But this is... In combat, we do 10% damage against female opponents. And outside of combat, we'll sometimes have unique dialogue options when talking to the same sex. So, it's the opposite. That's really interesting. Hunter, in combat, you do 75% critical damage against animals and mutated animals. Intense training. Uh, we can put a single point into any special. So this might be pretty good if there's ever a perk that I just feel strongly I need to have it, but I don't meet the requirements. I guess I could use this, but then it would be like I'm I'm forfeiting other perks in order to put points to get a different perk. So it would just really kind of depend. I don't know. I'm not going to do it right now. Retention. With retention, the bonuses granted by skill magazines last three times longer. Okay, I knew it. I knew it. I knew that was not going to be a permanent skill increase. I mean, it's obvious. 10 points? No, sir. Swift learner? Definitely not. Uh, definitely not. Friend of the night? We are never going to have that much perception. Eve Ho? Quite an arm you've got there. All thrown weapons fly farther and faster for you. Well, that's okay. In shining armor, beams reflect off the mirror-like finish of your gleaming armor. <laughs> uh, cool. You gain an additional five damage threshold against energy weapons while wearing any metal armor. Plus two while wearing reflective eyewear. That's cool. So if you wore both, you would get seven. Um, there's no way. I don't see how anybody would have that high of science early on. But okay. I mean, look, like level two, but 70 science. That's pretty whack. Junk rounds. Oh, we could actually potentially get this one. Survival is the mother of invention. Craft ammo at a reloading bench using alternate materials such as scrap metal and tin can. Ooh, I like that. Light touch. Heavy armor just isn't your thing, so you've learned to customize light armor. While wearing light armor, you gain plus 5% critical hit chance, and your enemies suffer minus 25%. Oh, that's kind of neat, but we don't have the agility for it. And to be honest, I don't know if, if I'm going to do light armor. I don't know what kind of armor I want to do. Old world gourmet. There's no way. Uh, rapid reload makes all of our weapons reload 25% faster than normal. All of them? And that's for level four. So this is hot. Let's go back. Hang on. Let's go back. And that needed guns to be at 30. So almost. 
I don't know. I don't really want to take... I'll take one point out of each since I didn't want to really take any points out of either. Okay. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. I feel like that one really needs to be at 40 for the speech to check stuff. So I guess we'll do this. I'll, I will try to buff Sneak next time because, as I said, I don't really want to be found by the big baddies that we might run into. Rapid reload, though. 25% for all weapons. That is good. That's nice. I can definitely be all about that. So what is over here? A uh, floor safe. Uh, some water. Sarsaparilla and some... Oh, these are the ones she was selling me. Because that's the two she had for sale. I like how this crate is just possessed. It's the spirit of whiskey. Shakes Jr. again. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to go through her stuff. I mean, I don't know what kind of karma I'm going for. But I don't really want to rob the town mom. If you can understand, Sunny, sweetheart, you scared me. You scared me, hon. That's okay, though. I think... Whoa. Whoa. I've seen these around, but I never bumped into them. Look at it go. Oh, rad! This is cool! Look at this! You can actually play with the tumble and tumbleweed! I love it. I really do. So cool! Hey look, I brought you a tumbleweed! Now you have a matching set. You're welcome. You're welcome. If you're looking for supplies, Chet over at the general store can help you out. What a great suggestion! I am almost over encumbered. Anything in the dumpster? I will sell him that pack of cigarettes, you better believe. And maybe that hammer. Yeah, I know. Now we're slow, but it's not too far away. Whoa, a Mojave Express drop box? Am I actually going to get to go back to work as a postal worker and deliver things to the drop boxes? Because that would be so incredibly interesting. I like the new Coca-Cola banner, and I like the clock. Neat. The music is a little ominous, though. Chet, you're looking a little creepy. Uh, this is not the most welcoming atmosphere I've ever had for a shop. Hey, Chet. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way yeah. I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps, if you ask me. Really? If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. So you've got discount? What makes the surplus ammo inferior? It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. Oh, so they really put a hit on the condition? Well, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but our uh, varmint rifle is already on its last leg, so probably don't want to put that ammo in it. Tell me about weapon mods and special ammo, please. Weapon mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. Okay. There's also hollow point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier, but they don't do shit against armor. Right. I knew that from the tooltip. What do you know about the situation with the powder gangers? Yeah, there's like these crazy convicts that want to shoot up the town, right? What's your opinion on that? If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake that for cower talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. I don't know. I just really think you should kill them, and then maybe they won't mess with you anymore because all the other ones will be like, oh, don't mess with Good Springs. They'll whoop ya. They will. Do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. Yeah, check. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Okay. Have you ever been to New Vegas? Twice. Both times I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card tables. In that order, now that I think about it. <laughs> if you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. It's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. Okay. Word of advice. Behave. Between the NCR military police and Mr. House's robots, you don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. 
I don't know. I think I might end up being a little bit of a troublemaker. I would like to know more about Mr. House, though. His name just sounds nice. I mean, I know it's probably not. It's it's not supposed to be cute. It's probably supposed to refer to, like, the house is the casino, but... So he's, like, Mr. Casino Man. But anyway, tell me about him. I'm afraid I don't know much myself. Mr. House has got his own casino, Lucky 38, but nobody goes in or out except his robots. The other casinos follow Mr. House's rules, so I guess that makes him the leader of New Vegas. As far as I know, nobody's ever laid eyes on the guy. So is he a I robot think that too? that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. If Mr. House is looking after you, it's gotta be a good thing, right? Wait, Victor doesn't belong to... Does he? That This is getting very intriguing. I am just extremely interested in Victor now. Alright, anything else you can tell me about the great cons? They're tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The great cons deal in illegal chems. There's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by great cons. Okay, well that's good to know. Um, please show me what you have for sale. Can do. Alright, and I'm probably gonna clear my inventory on my own, guys. I'm not gonna have you watch this exciting... <laughs> Very interesting, um, you know, exchange of goods. But I, I did want to take a quick look at what he's got, so. And I have, so. That's good. Recharge your rifle. I want this. I can afford it, and I'm going to sell some stuff, so I, I think I'm going to get that. Yeah, I really want that. Okay, that would be great if I can get it. All right. Cool. All kinds of good stuff. Thank you very much, Chet. Thanks so much. Take it easy now. Thank you. You too, buddy. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for today. I think uh, next time I I want to get started looking into Mr. Checkers and his great cons. You know, Mr. Platinum Chip Guy. So hopefully we can do a little bit of main quest stuff next time. But I guess we also need to do the Ringo thing. So we'll probably do the Ringo thing because first. Because... We need to finish up in Starterville before we start trying to go off into, into the great wasteland. But anyway, that's it for now. So thank you so much. And I cannot wait to see you again next time for more exciting adventures. Please take care of yourself until then. And bye-bye.